Hi, everyone. In this video, I will introduce every processor in Fast Fusion. What they are, what they do, and how effective they are. So, without further ado, let's get started. First, the face swapper. This feature is enabled by default, and it is used for face swapping. For example, I can upload a face photo in the source area and upload a picture or video in the target area. Then it can perform face swapping for pictures or videos. In the top right area, we can see the person's face has been replaced. We can use the face by face function to see the before and after comparison more clearly. Or we can upload a picture to perform face swapping on it. In the top right, we can see the face in this picture has been replaced. Regarding the face swapper, it offers various models for us to choose from. There are many models here. There isn't one best model. The models I commonly use are HyperSwapper 1A, 1B, 1C, and in Swapper 128. These are the models I use more frequently. There isn't one best model. Each model has its advantages. It's not that one model can apply to all situations. For different situations, using different models might be the optimal solution. Below the face swapper model is face swapper pixel boost. This is used to enhance the pixels of the swapped face. There are various pixel options for us to choose from to make the swapped face clearer. Below that is face swapper weight. When we set this value higher, it will look more like the target face. When we set this value lower, it will look more like the source face. Next, let's look at the age modifier processor. This processor is used to modify the age of the face after the swap by controlling the age modifier direction. When we set it to a very high value, the face will look older. In the top right, you can see our face is clearly in an aged state. When we set it to a very low value, we can see the entire face becomes very youthful. Similarly, for this function, we also have many models to choose from. However, currently, there is only one available here. Next function, Expression Restorer. This function is applicable when a face has many expressions, such as laughing, happiness, or crying. If we don't enable this function, the swapped face might appear stiff, not fully capturing those expressions. With this function, we can restore the expressions, bringing back the look of laughing, happiness, or crying. Regarding this function, we can control its expression restoration effect using the expression restore factor. When we set it to a high value, the expressions will be well preserved. When we set it to a very low value, it will minimize expression restoration. Also, for this processor, we have many models to choose from, but currently, there is only one available here. Next function, Face Debugger. This processor is mainly used for debugging our face options. We need to change the preview mode in the top right to default. This way, we can see our face mask the face bounding box. Face landmark corresponds to these five small green dots in our image. So what are face landmarks? These are facial feature points. They are used to mark the positions of your facial features, such as the mouth, nose, and eyes. We use these five feature points to mark your facial feature positions. At the same time, we also have Face Landmark 68. Compared to Face Landmark 5, we use 68 feature points to mark the positions of your facial features. Next function, Face Editor. This processor can edit the position and size of your facial features. Next I will demonstrate the functions of each option.
Here we have, well, only one model for us to choose from. Now, the next processor. Face Enhancer. This processor is mainly used to improve the clarity of our swapped faces. Some models might produce blurry faces after swapping. Enabling this function can significantly enhance the clarity of the swapped face. For this processor, various models are also available for us to choose from. Additionally, we can control the degree of face enhancer using the face enhancer blend parameter. We can see that when we set the face enhancer blend to a very low value, the entire face becomes less clear. Next, the processor, frame enhancer. This processor is used to enhance the quality of our footage. So, what's the difference from face enhancer? Face enhancer only enhances the quality of the face. Whereas frame enhancer enhances the quality of the entire image, not just the face, making the whole image clearer. Since its processing scope is larger similarly, this process will also become very time-consuming. Likewise, we can control the degree of this quality enhancement using the Frame Enhancer Blend parameter. If we set it to a very low value, we can see that the face after processing will also become somewhat blurry. For Frame Enhancer, we have many models available for us to choose from. Next function, Frame Colorizer. This function is mainly used to colorize our images. Here, the model we selected is Deoldify Stable. Below, in Frame Colorizer Blend, we can control the degree of colorization using this parameter. And we can switch to other colorization models to achieve different coloring effects. Next processor, Deep Swapper. Regarding Deep Swapper, it cannot be enabled simultaneously with Face Swapper. So, what's the difference between these two functions? Face Swapper uses an image for face swapping, while Deep Swapper uses our trained models for face swapping. We uncheck Face Swapper, and we deselect the source upload. In the Deep Swapper model section, we can see that we've chosen the Elon Musk model, then the right area is swapped with Musk's face. At the same time, we also have many other models here for us to choose from. Next, Lip Syncer. This function makes our mouth move to speak the words from the audio we upload it. So, let me demonstrate its effect. First, we need to upload a video. We can see that originally, this person's mouth was not moving. So how do we make their mouth move to speak something? Then we upload an audio clip. And your choice for favorite movie actor is... Johnny Depp! Okay, next. I will make the person in the video speak these words. We click start to begin processing. Next, let's see the result. And your choice for favorite movie actor is... Johnny Depp! Okay, isn't the effect amazing? Also, on the left, we can control the lip sync effect using the lip syncer weight. The higher we set it, the more synchronized the effect will be. Additionally, at the top, we also have many models for lip synchronization. All right, that concludes all the content for this video. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. It truly means a lot to me. Thank you.